السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم شهر رمضان الذي أنزل فيه القرآن هدى للناس وبينات من الهدى والفرقان وقال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم يعقد الشيطان على قافية رأس أحدكم إذا هو نام ثلاث عقد يضرب على كل عقدة عليك ليل طويل فارقد فإن استيقظ فذكر الله تعالى إن حلت عقدة فإن تودع إن حلت عقدة فإن صلى إن حلت عقده كلها فأصبح نشيطا طيب النفس وإلا أصبح خبيث النفس كسلان أو كما قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم All praise is due to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who has blessed us to be in this blessed month of Ramadan on this great day of Yom al-Jum'ah and as we are on such a great day of Friday next week Friday will be our last Friday in this month of Ramadan. <clears throat> so let's for a moment think and ponder that just like how today before the Maghrib Salah there will be brothers or there will be the great Sunnah of the Prophet وسلم, which is I'tikaf and Alhamdulillah for those who are blessed in this month of Ramadan to spend those nights whether it is a few nights, whether you spend uh, the entire ten nights on these days, remember, understand the power of your spending the time in the house of Allah. Given that there is a very, very special night, and that night is the night of power. Almighty Allah Ta'ala reminds us in the Quran, Inna anzalnahu fi laylatil qadr. We have revealed the Qur'an in the night of power. A night which is better than a thousand months. So just like how you are in the month of Ramadan, and this can only happen in Ramadan. You are standing at night and you are doing your taraweeh prayer. That is your qiyam layl Remember there was a time in the last few years we were in perpetual twilight. We did not even, we had very very short nights. So this is the blessing of Ramadan that your Isha prayer and then your Taraweeh prayer and then followed by your 20 rakats, all that is included in your Tahajjud, remember. Because in Ramadan only you do your Salah with the Imam, Witr prayer. When do you normally do your Witr prayer? You do it in the last portion of the night when you are out of Ramadan. And in the month of Ramadan, Allah Ta'ala gives this blessing that everyone benefits from Qiyamul Layl. Fortunate indeed are those whom the first 20 days see how fast it has gone. Tonight will be the 21st night of the night of Ramadan, Laylatul Qadr. And that is the reason why we always emphasize and stress the importance of our commencing of our Islamic months on dates according to the sighting of the moon. If that doesn't happen and we take it lightly, there will be many, many masajid here in the UK who will be and who have already probably have commenced their etikaf looking for the night of Laylatul Qadr on dates which we know for sure and for certainty creates a lot of confusion because we did not start the month according to the sighting, according to the sunnah of the Prophet wasallam. And that is the reason why here at Pearly Masjid we have taken this initiative to ensure that we protect the ibadah, our Islamic dates, our months. And not only that, we have taken the responsibility as an imam to ensure that you safeguard your fast, to commence your fast on the time which is the Subah Sadiq, the true nature of Subah Sadiq. And that is the reason why we take that responsibility when you are standing and you are offering a prayer, and you come daily every day, you have many, many questions and queries, 
and when we give you the answers and we explain, and then you still remain arrogant and you want to show that you have more knowledge because of your great piety, this is from the nafs and the desire of how shaitan, he turns a people's understanding, his connection, because this is the real enemy we have, not only the shaitan, it is the nafs. Remember, shaitan is our open enemy. Inna shaitan lakum aduun fattakhiduhu aduwa. So if sometimes a matter is brought to the attention with the ilm, with knowledge, with sound knowledge, and then still we follow our nafs and our desire, and thinking that our piety that is more important than what we provide with the ilm, then that in itself is following the nafs. You see, many a times we look at all of our good deeds. So we see that we have done so much of ibadah. We have not missed our salah for how many days? Months have gone by. We perform our day and we do our tahajjud and we do lots of great ibadah. So then we think and we performing those good actions and those deeds. And we feel very safe and we feel happy and alhamdulillah we have been performing our a'mal and our deeds. But then we don't look at those actions and those sins that we commit. Because we feel that we have secured our place in such a way, sometimes we belittle and look down upon others who do not even have that level of piety. But we forget who is the one who decides and who will make the decision on the day of Yom Al-Qiyamah. How many a times a person, he hasn't done any good action, he only accepted Islam, only his shahada and his kalima that guarantees a place in Jannah. So remember, it is not our a'mal and our action that takes us to Jannah. We all enter Jannah by the mercy and grace of Almighty Allah Ta'ala. Almighty Allah Ta'ala knows the condition of our hearts. And He will forgive any person as long as we turn to Him with tawbah and repentance and istighfar. And here it is, we enter into the last ten nights for that person whom was lax and did not take the month of Ramadan serious. Allah Ta'ala is so merciful that He gives His servant another opportunity. The night of Laylatul Qadr. Now bear in mind, think, only on this great day of Jumu'ah. You see, on the one hand, we are so much connected with our ibadah and we're worshipping Allah and we don't want to be, be distracted with what's happening around us in many parts of the world. While you and I understand that the fasting is also to remind us of the condition and plight of those people who are in great difficulty, in people who are in pain, in suffering. People in the month of Ramadan, when you think about the first battle in Islam, in the 17th day of the month of Ramadan, you have the battle of Badr. Imagine, the first battle in Islam, second year after Hijrah, in the month of Ramadan, 313 Muslims. See the shuhada of Badr. These are from those first Muslims that sacrifice their life in the path of Allah in the month of Ramadan and whatsoever happens after that all that we reflect on what happened in Badr even the Malaika Allah Ta'ala send the angels physically to help those Muslims who are ill-equipped facing a larger army over a thousand against those who are well equipped but there is a reminder that there are people who also are in great suffering and pain. When I think about what's happening in, in this day of Jumu'ah, think about Masjid Al-Aqsa. Imagine even on a Friday, how many days have gone by, yet we find that those Palestinians and those worshippers who are inside the Masjid, even in the month of Ramadan, it seems like it happens every year in the month of Ramadan, and many a times it becomes like a precursor to bomb Gaza when the Palestinians, they're only defending Al-Aqsa coming against this very heavily armed, you know, using the rubber bullets. When you see the images and footages of how they show disregard for that elderly man, when you see the video footages of how one father is beaten with a baton in front of his child, you see this happening almost almost every day now, this last few days in Palestine, inside Al-Aqsa. When you see the journalist, the arm is broken only because of recording and giving coverage. 
this is what's happening and how it has been portrayed in the media. See the media outlets, uh, the outlets. See how is there any collective outrage? Is there any united collective condemning of what the Israelis, when it is an apartheid state? It is not being reported as, you know, those who are resisting the occupation, like how it has been reported there in the Ukraine, when they speak, when you, when the very same people who are living there, when they are maybe resisting and challenging the aggression of the Russians in Ukraine, see the outlet, media outlets and see the coverage. When it's in Palestine and happening for over how many years now? Over 73, when, how long is the Nakaba? And look at the coverage. What do they say? No, it's just a clash between two opposing parties. It's just a clash. Does it, does it look like a clash to you when a people are living under occupation, when it is an apartheid state? And this is the double standard that we are facing. We have to wake up from our deep slumber. We are in the month of Ramadan. We have to keep on resisting or we have to create awareness because this masjid in the month of Ramadan comes under attack. Only today I was sent a video or footage of a tree right in behind where Jamia Qibli is that was set on fire. How does it be? How can it be set on fire? Who is sending in those uh, bullets or whatever is causing the fire for a tree inside Al-Aqsa? And then see in the reports how it is reported in as if though the Palestinians they are the victims, but you see how it has been portrayed. So we have to understand, we are in the month of Ramadan. Next week, Friday, will be the last Friday. These are the times to make a very special dua. Duas are readily accepted. This is the minimum that we can do. Your time inside or before the iftar is the time where duas are readily accepted. Your time at the time of sahri is the time where duas are readily accepted. You're standing at prayer at night, Qiyamul Layl, all these are for the servant and for the to increase in our ibadah. You will see, you will not have that same energy like how you have it in the month of Ramadan. See our condition, if we have not made a change and we have not made an attachment and connection to the house of Allah in the month of Ramadan, when we read the hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Man salla al-isha fi jama'atin faka'anna maqama nisfu al-layl, وَمَنْ صَلَّ الصُّبْحِ فِي جَمَاعَةٍ فَكَأَنَّمَا صَلَّ اللَّيْلِ كُلَّهِ This is a hadith recorded in, in, in Rawahu Malik wa Muslim. Whoever performs his isha in jama'ah, congregation, it is as if though he has spent the, the half of the night and whoever performs his subh in jama'ah in congregation, فَكَأَنَّمَا صَلَّ اللَّيْلِ كُلَّهِ It is as if though he has performed his entire night in ibadah. Now if we think that we have come also for the qiyam al-layl, yes indeed, alhamdulillah, that is the reward you will get. But then at the same time, if we abandon our fajr prayer, then there is a consequence for leaving out that prayer in jama'ah. But let's look at the reward. It is as if though you have spent that entire night in the worship in ibadat. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in the hadith that we have mentioned in the beginning, that every day, this is recorded in Bukhari, that the shaitan, he try on the neck, the nape of a person, when he goes to sleep, the three knots. And he says, for you is a long night, for good. So now the person goes to sleep. How many people? Ramadan came, Ramadan goes, and it doesn't make a difference for them. Ramadan is only about having beautiful, nice, delicious, tasty iftar. So there's a lot of iftar parties happening because you have kept away from food and drink. And then if we do not keep away from sins, if we only perform this act of ibadah, but then we leave out something which is obligatory, farad upon us. If you abandon one asr prayer, if you abandon the fajr prayer, if the shaitan every day he ties on the nape of a person, the three knots, and he says for you have a long, you know, farakut, enjoy your sleep. If that person when he wakes up, he remembers Allah, one knot is untied. If he makes wudu, the second knot is untied. 
if he thereafter he performs his prayer, then the third knot of the shaitan is untied. So this person, he will see his condition. Ask those who regularly perform their fajr prayer in jama'ah, come and see and meet them here and in any every masjid, wherever you are performing your prayer, because people have different choice. All masajid belong to Allah. If anybody wants to perform his prayer in any masajid, all the masajid belong to Allah. You are not doing the masjid a favor by performing your prayer in the masjid in that, uh, because you are doing a favor for yourself. So wherever you perform your prayer, it's most important that Allah Ta'ala accept it from you. But many a times it should not be that you have certain and your own personal issues that you keep away and you boycott a masjid because of your own personal reason then you are in, in fact doing a disservice if you start performing your prayer in your home and you keep away from the masjid because Allah. who are the ones who frequent the houses of Allah? Man amana billahi wal yawmil akhri wa qama salah wa lam yakhsha illa Allah Establishing the salah has to be in the masjid so you cannot wherever the masjid is you have to ensure that you fulfill this obligation because Ramadan will come and Ramadan will go. The night of Laylatul Qadr, it is better than a thousand months. How many of us is going to reach the age of 80, 90? Calculate and see how many people live to the age of 100. Once you reach the age of 60, it is all the way downhill. In fact, I was this. I just came across this. This, in fact, this morning, a young boy, Ali Tazim. You may have heard Ali Tazim. I believe he was. Somebody says that probably he was going to be the next. Uh, I don't know, Amir Khan. A young boy, I believe, died in a car crash. Somebody who is is he was he a boxer or a fighter, or meaning similar to a person only in his believe in his twenties, very young died in a car crash only a few days ago. So you see, sometimes we are thinking that, you know, young, and we have many, many Ramadans to see and wait for us, but we don't know the moment we could leave this masjid, a car crash, Malak al Wama tadri nafsum maza taksibu ghada, wama tadri nafsum ardin tamut. No person knows when that mort will come. No person knows on which part of the land he is going to die. So therefore Allah Ta'ala gives us this month of Ramadan because one night Laylatul Qadr is better than a thousand months. Khayrun min alfi shahr. Now when you divide thousand by twelve, how many you get, years you get? Eighty-three years? Eighty-three point three three meaning some say eighty-three and about four months generally. Yes. So inshallah, we are reminding you that just like how today on this Friday. So just to conclude some of the important points, yes, don't forget there are many deeds that you can engage in. First is searching for the night of Laylatul Qadr. One night, your ibadah and your worship. If you are praying, remember, I must emphasize again, when we have short nights, you have Qiyam layl like how those, the nights are getting longer, but your Taraweeh prayer, and you're performing your salah with the imam, that all is counted as your tahajjud. And then if you pray even after that, alhamdulillah, your Quran, your recitation, your, uh, your nafil prayer, whatever tahajjud, if, if you do any other prayer, all different acts you can do. But remember, the malaika, the angels, warruh and jibril, they send their salamun hiya hatta matla'il fajr, until the break of dawn. That is the benefit and barakah we have. One night of ibadah. Fortunate in he, is he who understand that one night is thousand months. And if that is going to equal and come to around over 83 years of ibadah, one night, then that person indeed right now is the chance. Tonight will, could be the 21st of the night of Laylatul Qadr. In every one of the odd nights. And therefore, we have also explained before that the man can have 29 or 30 days depending on the sighting of the Hilal. So therefore, you should search for it for the seven days remaining, the five days remaining, the three days remaining. Meaning, all of the nights you should take it as the night of Layl Qadr and people may experience it in different nights, different parts of the world. It is you, your understanding and your connection. 
Sometimes you are standing and you are praying and you have a different feeling which only you can understand. But most important, don't let this night slip away. One night of ibadah better than a thousand months. Laylatul Qadri khayru min al There's no better way to explain that Almighty Allah Ta'ala has made it that our lifespan is very short. Those in the Ummah and many in the past had very long lifespan. So Allah Ta'ala's favor on this Ummah that you secure and you try the woman, female at home. Everybody should not waste this very precious moments right until the, you know, because what danger is, the moment we start engaging in talk and futile, this can spoil our a'mal and actions. May Allah Ta'ala make it easy. I was just uh, mentioning about a young boy who died in a car crash. And that's why we should not take our life for granted, take advantage of life before death may come to us. Ramadan came, Ramadan will go. But after Ramadan, remember, there is also which you will get a reminder about the fast of the Shawwal, the six fast, which is like the reward of keeping fast for the year. Don't also forget that your Sadaqatul Fitr, you should try and also discharge it before the day of Eid. And that is Tu'matun Nil Masakin. It becomes a food for the Masakin and those who are in need. And it becomes Tuhratun Lissa'imin, a purification for those who have kept fast. So it's very important that you discharge for every member of your family the Sadaqatul Fitr. So these are some of the actions that you do during the last 10 nights. Your Qiyamul Layl, your Taraweeh, make sure you do and hear 20 rakats and then with the Imam, the three witr, so you get the reward of your standing at night in prayer and ibadah. Try and be punctual, make sure you do your Fajr prayer in congregation. In any masjid, wherever you are doing it, make sure you're doing your Jama'ah in congregation so that you get the full night in prayer and try and give a donation, make it an intention every night that you will give some charity and some contribution because all A'mal is multiplied in this very blessed month of Ramadan and he Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam also used to spend itikaf every year and you know in the last 10 nights of the month of Ramadan so this spending your time in itikaf make intention that you will come and you will spend some time also in the masjid and Allah Ta'ala reward abundantly